Hey, how's it going? Chrome Chris here, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4. Now, we've just stepped out of the Animus. Have a little look. We've got, uh... We've got a couple new... figurines here. Just want to see if there's anything new to do around the office, honestly. Um... Well, they've got even more than I do. They look fun, those three characters at the bottom there. Yeah. Right. Uh, there we go, straight away. Can't remember how many of these memories there were. Ooh. More bald telepathy. What's this picture of? CTOS. Isn't. I'm sure CTOS is from uh, Watch Dogs. I think this is where they started integrating. Yes, yes, I think it is. Where well, they started integrating both, um, both, both games. Right, where to now? Oh, she's not in the office today. Um, yeah, we've gone through quite a bit of the story, so I'm wondering if. Uh, If there's much else to do, I kind of want to get as much stuff as I can here before uh, before it's too late, really. So I'm going to go to the level one accesses, uh, and I think that I'll just uh, tune you guys in when something interesting happens. I've just got a comp couple of computers here to. Check out first. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. Oh, so this is like Crossy Road. Or oh, Frogger. Mm hmm. Easy. I have now resumed the practice of dressing as a man. I have put off my woman's dress. Why did you take it? Who made you take it? I took it of my own free will, with no constraints. I prefer a man's dress to a woman. You made an oath, Jeanne. You swore to never again dress as a man. I never meant to swear that I would not resume the practice. Why have you done so? Because it is more lawful and suitable for me to return to the practice of wearing a man's dress, being always among men, than to have a woman's dress. I have resumed it. Because I promised me and not How is he? Our three, doing well. Are we still in 18th century Hungary? No. His connection is so stable, he's jumped between a few ancestors today. We're in 15th century France now. Turns out he's related to one of Joan of Arc's executions. <laughs> Surprise. But I mean, yesterday, Vidic asked me to help him work out some of the bugs in his audiovisual renderer, and I told him... No, no, no. Come on, Satish, not you. It wouldn't be permanent. A, a few months at most. Months? That will kill every ounce of momentum we have. It won't, I promise. Honestly, I think this could help us. If, if I can get a look at what these people are doing, we could... Come on. He's trying to pull you over to his side. Don't you see that? He's luring you with quick victory and prestige. 
That's not what this is about, honestly. I need to get back to work. Eileen, I'm sorry. Do what you must. I'll survive. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, April 2nd, 1981. Host Eileen Bach. DNA sample SV1970. Miriam. Miriam, are you awake? What? Miriam, they're coming for me. Who oh, is? The guards? I see them from my window, amassing in the courtyard. My time is up. Basil, don't say this. You don't know that. Forgive me for this, Miriam. But I must tell you something. The artifact. We have it. But only Oscar and I know its location. Don't tell me. They will release you. Your family has connections. You must take the artifact and bring it to the assassins in Paris. Please don't. I don't want to know. It's safer if I don't. Hush now. If I die, knowledge of its location dies with me. You must bring it to the assassins. Assassins? I don't understand. It's a spy of St. Petrus. No, I don't want to hear. Seven, seven. Several different things going on here. Hello? Eileen, hi. It's Carl. Carl, I know it's you. Sorry, you just sound exhausted. Did I wake you? No, no, I'm... I've just been busy. It sounds like it. I'm just a little tired, that's all. No, I mean, your your project sounds fascinating. Your colleague, Dr. Warren Vidic, he called me recently and he told me what you've been up to. He what? Warren? Yeah, he told us about your research, memories, ancestry, all of that. He even asked if we'd be willing to come in and... No! Jesus, no! What the hell is he doing? Eileen, it's okay. We signed some papers, non-disclosure stuff. No! He's trying to fuck me over! Damn it! Eileen, we just talked about my mother, just like you and I did. World War II. That's all. It's the artifact. The what? Carl, if he calls you again, you tell him you work through me, okay? That's it. Vidic has been a pain in my ass for years. And I don't need him getting all the glory for my two years of hard work. All right. Uh, so how should I go about this? I mean, the wheels are in motion. I... I don't know. Just go through me if he contacts you again. Please? All right. You'll do that? Of course. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I'm sorry I was short with you. I've just been exhausted. That's all. It's all right, hon. Just... just take care of yourself. Morning, Eileen. So Eileen. Almost ready. Just a few more adjustments. Hmm. Is okay. the main I had the team do some research on this artifact we've been chasing, and it Maybe. appears the Third Reich actually found something matching its description sometime in 1940. Uh, Eileen, are you oh, all wow. right? Sorry, yeah, I'm fine. Just a little scattered. Biddick called my ex-husband last night. He wants to put him in the Animus. To find the artifact before us? Exactly. But it would be faster using Vidic's Animus. And maybe that would get us back to our original work. Satish, if we let that happen, then all our money dries up. Lillian is paying for us to find the artifact, not improve our methods. Do you understand? Right, of course. I'm sorry. Let's just... let's just burn those bridges when we cross them. Are we ready? Yes, just a few more adjustments, Signore. I made a small change to the genetic input modulator. I'm hoping that buys us a few more minutes. Even a few seconds would be nice. I'm ready. All right. Settle in. Is that it? That was quite something. Ah, oh, we did another one of these ones. I'm 
assuming it doesn't matter which one I go into on that. Okay, uh, it's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not going to play all of them. Uh, obviously, would be, be here all day. I did. Um, the sticky note. Just keep us moving along. What do we get this time? A painting. And it tells us a little bit about it. Obviously we killed this guy. Well, we didn't kill him. His son killed him. Progressive outlook and focus on family values. Now this one's slightly new. Let's see if I can get into that. Thing. There we go. Okay. Interesting. Baghdad battery. Oh, this is what we got the blood vial. A crystal skull. Oh, memory seals. Yeah, we've had these. Voynich manuscript. Ah, okay. We can't even go into the uh, into the office anymore. Right. Uh, I think we've got all we can get. Um, gonna have to go back into the animus then. I know at some point we get told to come out again and. Uh, given access to level 2 and then later we're given access to level 3 it's just that it, uh, it's been a while, I want to try and keep on top of uh, the hacking stuff so yeah, we'll go back in hey old bonnet flying your own flag at last yes, yes Blackbeard cut me loose sadly time to have a go at this myself well that's grand yes it's for the best I think I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. He's a funny old pirate, is Steed. Mr. Barnett. complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for my sins! These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking sight. Well. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of 
of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. My <laughs> Christ! This is my predicament. Kill you? Or to press you into my survey? It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to barter with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, since. I'll handle it. Give me a day. And if you don't come back? What should he do then? So we're going to have to There's sail through this. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Mm -hmm. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines, just in case. Ah, but they're stalling, thinking of ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered, Hope for the best. Be careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Yep, it's fine. Oh no. Didn't notice how close we were that. There's another watchtower. Yep, I know. All sail, all we've got. He's the truth. Oh, 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 oh. Keep her at half sail, Captain. This beetle do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. Hmm, how do I get past that watch, sir? And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop. Sabotage bell, okay. Really? Right, as long as I keep these distracted so they can't ring the bell. That's it. Not exactly how you're supposed to do it, but I did it. <laughs> Through there. I see them over there. Yeah, I see them too. Let us hope the river remains this wide. Not stalking by us. I know how you feel. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Be sure they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. If 
feel like I'm going to be getting off it. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. D I'll be back. What? With the medicines. Aye, sir. Okay. Dude, you're in my way. Right, 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 right. Oh, sleep dot. I wonder if I can skin this one. I can skin this one. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think it's true what they say about Blackbeard. That fire strikes out from his head, as if from some volcano. Apparently I've killed two crocs. But surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the heart of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Whoa. No. Come on. Oh, stay up there. I'm going to get that one as well. Alright, I'm going to quickly run up here. This blockade best end soon. Going land crazy and this dirty puddle won't do. One would suppose all this was for gold. Cool. Or from at least. Nothing but medicines to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessels. Syphilis and scurvy. Let's no let doubt. these guys go what ahead. Coffins, these pirate ships must be. Ooh. He's talking to you. Oh, there's a croc. <laughs> right, here they come. Okay, stay still. Hello! Is that right? See what happens here. Speed along, you're expected, and you know how. Whoa! Oh, right, I guess that's my it time to move. It took him, I told you! Just throw! For God's sake, throw! I told you there was something, didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here! These guys see me way too easily. How do I sneak past them? Ah, okay. That'll help. I apologize. There was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but uh -huh. are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we could tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man no. shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! All right, well, I guess we're going to that mansion. Come on. All right, 
to get to that, Captain. Oh no. Come on. Right, chase, 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 chase. Somebody shoot him! Hey, stop! Stop him! Oh. Come on. What's going on? Hey gents, how you doing? Just uh running through, don't mind me. Good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. He might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain. What's the take? Too great, and the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, good, really good. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these I take it that was a thank you. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, Dad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. Wow. How we we'll meet again, lad? In this world? Or the one below? So the great Captain Blackbeard is looking to retire. Well. Are oh, you joking? Does this mean we're leaving the Animus? It does. <laughs> I wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Yep, yeah, I'm coming as fast as I can. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting Hello. for us. Yes. Let's go. CCO. Yep, let's go. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, um, talking to some pirates, telling She's having some issues. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and... Sorry, his ship, not boat. But jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Go ahead. I wonder if she knows what Abstergo really does. Well, who they really are. I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... I'm in any so you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Should me long. Okay. Hello? 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 H
Hello. Do you have a second? Of course you do. I do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but m another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad. I have level three now. First few weeks. Find the camera control no. station first. Fine. I'll update your communicator. Well. I mean. Would you look at this room? Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the ways. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. How do I select it? There we go. So change the numbers to make it fit right. Oh, eh, oh, didn't even take that long. Nice one. It's me. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye bye. Nice to know I'm the best uh, employee. It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? As the lady says, focus on the observatory. Assassin, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about the shareholders meeting. I mean, Desmond is How right there. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you. <laughs> what I mean what? is. I don't want to ruin your life, so do as I say. Now, step over to the window. But what window? Right, we're going to continue this in the next episode. So thank you very much, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.